The Dingo was durable and versatile, a highly useful vehicle. It featured six-wheel drive, light diamond armor plating, multi-band radio transceiver, run-flat tires, and a powerful and mechanically sound engine. The most convenient aspect of the Dingo heavy utility for Jack Korojan was its uncommonly large cargo bay. Herzag was just coming into view on the horizon and the grizzled old bounty hunter had a load of deserter corpses piled in the back. Excitement was not exactly the emotion Jack felt as he was mindful of the mere 1,000 gold credits he would receive as a bounty for each of them. Jack had accumulated a gambling debt with a certain associate and most of his payment had to be given to settle it. Even this veteran hunter of armed fugitives did not cross him. I'll have just enough cash for fuel, food, and a little ammo. Then I can continue this miserable odyssey. His entire existence seemed to consist of the endless slaughter of those who wished to escape to a better life. Everything he did was to release himself from the burden of debt that he had incurred. He thought back to his younger days when he had been a sergeant in the Impervian Army, fighting for valid causes and ideals of freedom. Just couldn't keep his mouth shut, could he? This was just a fading recollection as the camouflaged off-road vehicle reached the guard post on the outskirts of town. Nine. When Jack spoke, it was a harsh, unforgiving sound, like that of cinder blocks being dragged over rough concrete. Mostly privates, but I did get that color sergeant that you were after. Sturfen was a civilian, but he worked for the Dutosian Grand Army. He hired bounty hunters to track down local deserters and criminals. Sturfen was a civilian, but he worked for the Dutosian Grand Army. He hired bounty hunters to track down local deserters and criminals. Nine grand. You will have your 9,000 credits, Koryun. There is a special task available if you are willing. How much? 500,000 credits alive, 300 dead. Who could be worth that much? Do you remember when Firebase Gavin burned down? So... His name is Corporal Garan Eid, Regimental Number 1, 136472. An unknown associate that he was seen with is worth 200,000, dead or alive. So I guess that you'll be off to claim them then. Yeah, once I get my nine grand. Nine thousand gold credits can purchase a wide variety of things. One week on Blur, 500 diamond rounds for the Dingo's machine guns. Enough food for a year or enough fuel to reach Morania. However, Jack had special plans for that money. With the thousand he had already saved, he could finally pay off that overlord who threatened him with circumstances worse than death every time they spoke. He was one of the only people Jack had ever been afraid of. Jack had no way of knowing, but the overlord, who was known as Jomi, had bewitched him. Jack had not always been a bounty hunter. After his hasty forced exit from the Impervian Army, he became a drug dealer. Jack found that if he utilized the services of many different chemists from a variety of locations and mixed the resulting narcotics together that a very effective and addictive drug was brought into being. The problem arose when this concoction of Jack's was having a pronounced influence on the general market. Other older cartel bosses were not pleased about their declining share of the illegal trade. Our boys can make an example of him, like we did to that Sendall fella. If we just wanted to kill him, we would have done it ourselves by now. The backlash from those junkies would affect my bottom line. We could set him up. Jack had not so much as winked when he arrived at the Dito's Gaul border. Another three quarters of an hour down the poorly maintained road, Jack saw that either side there were tall stands of pinkish wheat becoming apparent. Good evening, brother. Jack. Jack had actually witnessed this condition before. Many knew it as half-death. Jack drew his automatic shotgun pistols from their meaty leather holsters. Brother Zoxy slowly began to chant an eerie, echoing dark hymn. In the sky above, Darkening clouds began to gather at an unnatural rate. 
Forgive me, brother. In a few moments, his magazines were empty. Brother Zoxy's pummeled and dissolving body was riddled with craters that melted and bubbled as the solvent mixed with his dead flesh. Jack was furiously reloading his weapons. He knew that the necromancer could not be far away. The storm clouds were growing ever more ominous and tumultuous. Jack presumed that he could probably sense the destruction of one of his minions. Like a common tomb thief, he plundered it thoroughly. Incense, a wide variety of many precious little trinkets, dusty old tomes and a small teardrop shaped azurium jewel on an aurorium chain were taken from the altar and shelves. The reviled necromancer, Zhao Fan, was mounted atop an undead native elephant. Fuck! Zhao Fan whispered telepathically for his minions to charge in to attack the dingo and its occupant. Shaka Yuluk owes me a favor. I'll fix you up with some of that 750G's old girl. 